Nashville, film, selected for preservation in the United States National Film Registry in 1992, it is now considered Altman's magnum opus, and one of the greatest films of all time. Major characters Minor characters Richard Baskin, the film's musical supervisor, wrote several of the songs performed in the film. The black choir singing with Linnea early in the film is based on the Fisk Jubilee singers, though it's disputed whether the performers in the film were actually Fisk University students or members of the BC and M Choir, a black interdenominational gospel choir based in Nashville. The hospital scenes centered on Barbara Jean were filmed in a local hospital that had been closed, one floor of it was refurbished for use in filming. Many of them were not actively participating in the film but simply happened to be at the location where the cast and crew were filming at the time. Perry later went on to design titles for a number of other major Hollywood pictures, including Taxi Driver, Star Wars, and Raging Bull. Altman had enough footage to produce a four-hour film, and assistant director Alan Rudolph suggested he create an expanded version of Nashville to be shown in two parts, Nashville Red and Nashville Blue, but the film ultimately remained intact. Many of the actors and actresses in the film composed the songs they performed in the film. According to a piece in Film Comment it is still amazing to me that the impression was so prevalent in the cultural reaches of Manhattan that Nashville was one of the year's commercial blockbusters rather than, as it was, the 27th highest grossing film of the year. The film grossed approximately $10 million in the United States. Gene Siskel, Roger Ebert, and Leonard Maltin gave the film four-star reviews and called it the best film of 1975. According to film critic Ruth McCormick after an initial wave of praise, a critical backlash ensued. Robert Matsuko in the New York Review of Books, Greil Marcus in the Village Voice and John Malone in the New York Times wrote articles that ranged from debunking the hype and calling Nashville superficial and overrated, to absolutely hating the film for its aesthetic shortcomings or its purported pessimism, cynicism, and sexism, D95 FA 70 70F.